Bandwagon fallacy occurs when you try to convince people that something is true because it is widely held to be true. Alex, over here! Okay, if the new girl sits with us? Okay, okay I guess. She's a little weird, but let's give her a chance. Guys, this is Alex. Hi there. Hi. Ooh, twins. Which one is the evil one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go get our lunches. So, Alex, uh, we have just a sec. Hello? <gasps> oh, yeah, like I'd be seen with a Discover card. You have a cell phone? That's it. Don't be shy. Now maybe a little joke to break the ice. <laughs> or a big joke. Careful now. Nobody likes a show off. Where are they going? Hey, wait up! They left without me. So there I am being nice to Alex, and she takes all of my friends and ditches me. I'm sure they didn't ditch you, honey. Maybe they won't have to plan a surprise party for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Good one, Mom. They only like her because she acts too grown up with her perfume and her cell phone and... Oh, and get this, Mom. She drinks iced tea. Lisa, I can't imagine anyone being more likable than you. But apparently this new girl is. So my advice would be to start copying her in every way. But, Dad... Uh-uh, think. Is that what Alex would say? In this clip, Homer tells Lisa that she should do whatever makes her popular. He says Lisa should act the way the popular girl in school acts because being popular is more important than being herself. Lisa wants to act her age and enjoy being a child, but Homer advises that she do what Alex does, which would mean acting more adult. By advising Lisa to do something merely because it would bring popularity, Homer commits the bandwagon fallacy. Subscribe to Colbert Classroom and be on the lookout for new videos.